What's up, scholars? Today we're going to talk about ratios and proportions, one of my favorite topics. Because it shows up all the time. Ratios are the bomb. What is a ratio? Well, if A and B are two quantities measured in the same units, the ratio of A to B is a fraction. It's A over B. And sometimes we write it as A colon B in order to compare two numbers. We must make sure the numbers have the same units units. This way those units will cancel and we'll have a ratio of just numbers. The units will cancel and we're really just comparing the two numbers. <clears throat> so for example We've got a ratio of 39 centimeters over 13 meters. Does that have the same units? Nope. So we got to use our stoichiometry, get our units converted. We've got centimeters and meters. We could go either way. We could convert centimeters to meters or meters to centimeters. I'm going to say let's convert the meters to centimeters so that we don't have any decimals here. Uh, well, we know that one meter is 100 centimeters. We're multiplying here. And why do we do that? So that our units are the same and they cancel. We've got meters and meters on the bottom and centimeters and centimeters on top and bottom. So let's see, we've got something that's saying it's top and bottom, then it cancels out. That's also how we know how to organize this multiplying fraction. We organize it such that the units will cancel out. Okay, so let's multiply straight across, because that's how you multiply fractions. 39 times 1 is 39. 13 times 100 is 1300. And then I feel like maybe we can reduce this fraction. What do you think? Ah, what do we think? Yeah, dude, we can divide both of those by 13. Divide by 13 and we get 3 over 100. And we don't have any units because the units canceled. So we're just comparing the numbers 3 to 100. That is our answer. Boom shakalaka. All right. Number two, two yards and 12 feet. The ratio of two yards to 12 feet. Well, we're going to have to do some unit conversion. So we're going to multiply by something. Um. We're going to want to put the yard thing on the bottom and the feet thing on the top so that the feet and feet cancel and the yard and yard cancel. And I know that one yard is three feet. Yep, truth. So our feet cancel, our yards cancel. We multiply straight across three times 2 is 6, and 12 times 1 is 12, and that one we can definitely reduce by dividing both of them by 6. So we get 1 half. Again, with no units, the ratio doesn't have units because the units cancel, and that's what we got. All right, cool. Number 3, the perimeter of a rectangle a, B, C, D is shown below and has three, 32 inches. That was weird. Perimeter is 32 inches. The ratio of A, B to B, C is 3 to 5, meaning whatever A, B is <clears throat> to whatever B, C is is in a ratio of 3 to 5. So if A, B was 3, BC would be 5. If AB was 6, 
which is 2 times 3. BC would be 2 times 5, 10. If AB was 9, which is 3 times 3, BC would be 3 times 5, which would be 15. So I don't actually know what the numbers are for these things, but I do know that AB is 3 times some number and BC is 5 times some number. And since it's a rectangle, I know AB and DC are the same, and I know BC and AB are the same. And I know perimeter means add them all up. 3x plus 5x plus 3x plus 5x equals 32. Add all of our x's together, we got 5 and 5 is 10, 3 and 3 is 6, 10 and 6 is 16, x equals 32. Divide by 16 on both sides and we get x equals 2. What does that mean? That means the number we're multiplying here is 2, so that means BC is 5 times 2, which is 10. AB is 3 times 2, which is 6. Those guys are the same. And let's just double check. Is 10 plus 6 plus 10 plus 6 equal to 32? 10 and 10 is 20. 6 and 6 is 12. 20 and 12 is 32. Yep. So, again, the answer to the question was, what are the dimensions, so it's 6 inches by 12 inches. We used this ratio to figure out what those dimensions were. We knew what the ratio was, we didn't know what number we would be multiplying by, so we called it x. Then we knew since it was a rectangle, opposite sides are congruent. Added them all up for our perimeter, solve for x, plug back in. Alright, <clears throat> let's check out these extended ratios of angles. The measure of the angles in triangle ABC are in a ratio A to B to C according to their angle measurements. For instance, if we had a triangle that had measurements of 30, 60, 90, it would be an extended ratio of 30, 260, 290, or 1, 2, 2, 2, 3. How do we get 1 to 2 to 3 from 30, 60, 90? We divided everybody by 30. Divide by 30, divide by 30, divide by 30, and got that simplified extended ratio. So let's do an example here. The measures of the angles in triangle ABC are in an extended ratio of 1 to 1 to 2. Find the measures of the angles. Just like we did in question 3, we're going to use the ratio and tack on an x to each of those numbers. So we've got 1x and 1x and 2x. These are all the angles of a triangle. What do we know about all the angles in a triangle? They all add up to 180 degrees. They add up to 180 degrees. Right? Yeah! So if we simplify, 1x plus 1x plus 2x, we've got 4x equals 180, and we divide by 4, and we divide by 4, and we get that x equals 4 goes into 18, 4 times, remainder 2, 4 goes into 20, 5 times, so x is 45. So we have one angle that's 1x, actually we have two angles that are 1x, so we have two angles that are 45 degrees. 45 to 45, and our third angle is 2x, 2 times 45 is 90. So here is our, the measures of our triangle. Again, we took this ratio, tacked on an x to each one, and we knew that the angles of a triangle add up to 180. We solved for x, plugged it back in to get the angles of the triangle. Alright, example number two. 
the measure of the angles in quadrilateral EFGH are in the extended ratio 2 to 2 to 1 to 1. What are the measures of the angles? And then what kind of quadrilateral is EFGH? All right. Well, here's our ratio. Let's do just what we did before. Tack on some x's. 2x, 1x, 1x. These are talking about angles. What do we know about all the angles and a quadrilateral? A four-sided figure. They add up to 360 degrees. 360 degrees. All right, you're going to simplify. You're going to solve for x. You're going to find the measures of that, each of those angles, and then use those measures to find what kind of quadrilateral EFGH is. I'm going to draw you something not to scale. It doesn't look like this at all, necessarily. It doesn't look like this at all. I'm just going to give you something to work with here. So after, let's say that one's E, and that one is F and G, and H, you're going to solve for each of those. And then I would plug them in here and maybe draw it as best you can to scale to figure out what kind of quadrilateral this is. So that, my dears, is a U question. All right, cool. Moving right along. Right, right, right along. Bum, 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 bum. Sometimes polygons are similar shapes but different sizes. The size of these polygons could be in a ratio of one to the other. For instance, triangle ABC and triangle DEF are in the ratio of one to two. It's easy, easy to find the lengths of triangle DEF if we know the lengths of triangle ABC. We know AB is three, we know BC is five, and we know AC is four. For those of you that are savvy, in the ways of the triangle, you recognize this as a 3, 4, 5 triangle, which you've seen a bunch of times, because we do a lot of 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared, so we actually know this is a right triangle, because the Pythagorean theorem is correct for this triangle. All right, cool. That means this guy is also a right triangle, because they're the same shape, just different sizes. And we know that the ratio of the triangle ABC to triangle DEF is 1 to 2, meaning all of these sides correspond to 1 times something, and these correspond to 2 times something, meaning this triangle is twice as big as that triangle. Okay? That's what that means right there. This triangle is twice as big as that triangle. So now we just got to match up the sides. AB, AB is the same as side DE. DE, so that's going to be 2 times 3, which is 6. BC, BC is the same as EF. So EF is 2 times 5, which is 10. And DF, DF is the same or corresponds to AC. So DF is twice as big as AC. Eight, a six, eight, ten triangle. All right. You, my dears, are going to do the same thing for this next example, but you've got a new ratio of three to one, meaning this triangle is three times as big as the other triangle. This will be the end of video number one. Love you, scholars. Keep on that hustle. Keep on that good work.